going nuts. Yahweh accepts worship every day of the week. In the temple, there were offerings morning and evening every day of the week. If the goal is to avoid all things pagan, we would never worship Yahweh. Because the pagans had pagan deities that they worship 365 days of the year. So if we avoid any day that the pagans might have used for worship, we would never worship Yahweh. It's what you do and who you serve and how you do it in that day that makes the difference. Yes, I agree. Do not have any pagan things when you worship Yahweh. But that doesn't mean that because the pagans worshipped on Sunday, that the Hebrews can't worship on Sunday. They met together in each other's homes, broke bread, had fellowship, did prayers, read the word every day of the week. So if you pagan police would get out of your self-righteous attitudes for just a second and really read your Bibles and really think about what happened in the first century among believers, they gathered for worship and prayer every single day of the week. They simply didn't call those other days they gathered Sabbath days. As long as you don't call another day other than the seventh day a Sabbath day, you can worship Yahweh whenever you want. Just don't call it a new Sabbath and honor the Sabbath that he set apart. And as long as you're willing to honor the Sabbath he set apart, but if you want to worship every other day too, you can. Knock off the pagan policing. You're sounding like fools and you're causing division that doesn't need to be caused. And you're judging the brethren, which means you're judging the Torah, which means you are placing yourself in the position of Elohim, which means you are violating the Torah. Knock it off! 